Whoa. Everything looks so real. Oh wait, it's not on yet. What's up everyone, my name is Biku and I am here with a special unboxing and sort of, of a review, but I'm not really going to be doing a review of it because it's kind of hard to do because I don't have the right setup to be able to screen record the kind of stuff that I want to do and all that. And I think there's enough... Um, reviews of this thing online already and if you don't know what I'm talking about just look uh, right there at the description that should tell you all that it is that all that you need to know but in essence I am going to be reviewing or unboxing and doing a small review of the oculus rift dk2 that's right the dk2 um, I bought this roughly a year ago uh, I've kept it in very good condition uh, I love the thing to bits. I love to use it. Uh, my favorite game is probably still uh, Windlands. I haven't tried E Valkyrie, even though I probably should. Um, so, yeah, let's get into the unboxing of the Rift DK2. So, as you can see, here is the box. Uh, here we go. That's probably the right way for you. So, if we just. There's a little tab here, you just pull and take it out. Uh, right, here we have, and I know this isn't the packaging that it came with, but this is what I use. Just some Ziploc bags. These are the spare lenses. These are the lenses that actually come in it. But because I wear glasses, I use the other lenses. Because, I don't know, I think I just get a little bit more clarity out of the other lenses than I do with these. But your mileage may vary depending on what you use. These, I think these are the A, A lenses, I could be wrong, but it comes with A lenses and B lenses depending on your eyesight. Uh, next, let me just take it out, we have the camera and it comes in here. Camera, it, feel, it comes, the base, it's really heavy. Uh, it is really heavy, it's really well made. Uh, I believe this, the, the, the mount it looks very, very similar to the Logitech mounts. They look incredibly similar, especially on the Logitech mount for the C920. It looks incredibly similar to that. But this is the infrared camera that you that you that monitors uh, that does the head tracking for the infrared LEDs on the front of the headset. So that's pretty cool. Right now we come to this little box, which you won't really need, but if you're planning on using uh, any of the and the USB ports on the front of on the top of the roof, then you will need this. Uh, you get some adapters, some adapters depending on your country. Some more adapters, and we have a power supply that is only needed. Uh, if you are using the USB ports on front of the headset. Otherwise, the headset is just powered by USB. So, get that out of the way. That's probably really annoying. Sorry. Um, now, let's get onto the cables. Uh, this, These are the cables that plug into the, uh, to the camera. So, you, as you can see here, you got a, I believe it is... Uh, Come on, mini B and a micro, or it is the really small headphone jack. Uh, yeah, so the cable is really long. Uh, it is about four meters long, a little bit, maybe three and a half meters long. So that's pretty cool. Now onto the real nice piece, the headset itself. Get that out the way. That down there. Okay. Right. The cable on the headset is a really, really nice bra 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 braided cable. Uh, as you can see. Come on, focus. It's a really nice braided cable. And at the end of the cable, you have. If I can get it out. End of the cable. Just take that off. I'll get to that just now. You have a HDMI port and a USB port. So the cable itself is also, it's really long. I'm going to say at least three to four meters long. And it comes with this HDMI to DVI-I, I think. I could be wrong. 
it's the one with some of the missing pins. So that one, so it's HDMI to that in case you have a bit of an older display. And now onto the Rift itself. Uh, here is the Rift itself. As you can see, it looks very nice. Uh, you got this little port up here that pops off. That's where you can plug in and out the HDMI and U or the USB and it. Oh, come on, the USB and HDMI ports. And there's also this little cover over here. If I can get it out, that covers the USB accessory port as well as another cable, which I'm not sure what it does. One other port, which I'm not sure what it does. Okay, let me just close this up. Um, headset, the, the only, uh, as you can see, there it says Oculus DK2, Development Kit 2. Let's see if I can get a bit of a better picture on that. Development Kit 2, with nice Oculus logo. Uh, the foam padding on the headset is really nice. It's really thick and comfy. Um, and it breathes really well. Uh, apparently on the DK1, there was an issue with light bleed, and I must say on this one, they, it's not really an issue. I haven't really noticed any light bleed. Um, so yeah, uh, there is a power button just there that powers on and off the headset. And on the inside here, you have the lenses, which are very nice. If I just take one out, probably gonna have to clean the Oculus just now, but anyway, if you take one out, you notice the screen inside. Uh, I believe, or I'm fairly certain, the screen is from a Galaxy Note 3 or Note 4. I believe it's um, the 3 or the Note 4. I can't remember which one. Um, so, yeah, that is basic overview of the Rift. Uh, oh, yeah. On the sides, you have the adjustment ports to make it... Uh, go, come on, make it do this, make it go closer in or further out. You can adjust it manually, but I don't recommend doing that because you will probably damage your rift. Uh, another one on the other side, you'll just have to adjust these depending on how close you want the lenses to your. Uh, come on. Maybe I should just use the adjustment itself. There we go. You just turn it one way to make it go further out, and you turn it the other way to make it go closer in. And yeah, that's the basic overview of the Rift. Um, looks really nice. Uh, the material is a bit, it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet. You do notice fingerprints on it. But on the CB1, I believe it is cloth coated, so that won't be an issue. Um, and yeah, oh, it comes with this uh, nice. Uh, microfiber cloth for cleaning the lenses, which I do a lot because if there's any piece of dust or fingerprint smudge or whatever there, it really ruins the experience, but I digress. Um, uh, there's not much else to say really, it's just a really, really awesome piece of tech. Um, it does have a 1080p display, uh, which is good enough for the DK2. Uh, the final version will have, I can't, I don't know if it's uh, 480 on 1440p display or if it's a 4k display but um, <clears throat> but they do say that you're going to need at least a GTX 970 to run the DK to run the CV1 so that is interesting which means that a lot of people who wanted these things I'm not going to be able to run them. Uh, I have a GTX 760 and it runs this just fine at the 1080p display at 70 hertz, which is fine. Um, oh yeah, it does have, I can't remember what the technology is called, but basically um, it reduces motion blur, which, and on the DK1, um, on DK1, it made people really, really sick. So that was an issue which has been resolved in this. So that is good. Um, yeah, the headband is really comfortable. Uh, and I've shown almost anyone 
that I meet, I will show them this thing, and I want. I love to see people's reactions of it. I love the technology. I love VR. I really, really want to get a Rift CV1 or CV2, depending on how that goes. But the cost of the Rift itself is not the issue. It's the cost of buying a whole new computer that can run it. Uh, let me just move my camera back up. So, yes, I really, really love VR. I've adored this thing. I've used it so much. Um, but the issue is, or the price, it was $600, which in South African rands is probably about ten to 15,000 rand, which is ridiculous. Um, I was going to get one if it was... 400 to 500 dollars but 600 dollars is just a bit too much my computer is uh is only a little bit more expensive than that um well the 15,000 rand it's a more or less that price for all the main things except for my case that was quite expensive but anyway um so yeah that is my unboxing of the oculus rift so i thank you of the I thank you. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video and goodbye.